What's up gamers, Becco here. Today we've got another skills analysis. This time it's for Matt Poon's PNWR Freestyle. I don't think we've posted any analysis videos from this contest yet, but um, needless to say, this is one of the most competitive 1A contests that Yo-Yo has seen. Um, it's also one of the first three minute regional events for the US, which is pretty huge. As you can see, we've got a lot of great freestyles. Um, this one in particular was my favorite. I think Matt's tricks are amazing. Not only are they very unique, but he's also very diverse. And um, as you'll see here, I think he does a great job with trick diversity because he has a lot of different tricks and they're all very, very high levels of mastery and difficulty. Um, besides that, I think this freestyle had really good musicality with the classic song, Boom Boom Pow, and um, also pretty good space use as well. So I already got the clicks done, so let's watch the tricks. Some cueing right here in the beginning. With a few hooks. I gave that grind to hook a two, as well as that slap bind, both very difficult tricks, so he's off to a good start here. Um, this tech combo is amazing. I feel like a lot of players kind of put tech on the back burner in their freestyles, but Matt's quite a technical player still, and as you can see here, he's doing quite a few unique concepts. Um, I'm pretty much scoring all of the movements he's doing in this trick because they're all pretty different from one another and also not easy to do. The way this combo flows and transitions between each element is just great, like all clear movements and they're also pretty unique too. Um, here's another somewhat technical trick, really creative use of slacks with this one. He did have a few misses however, has to rethrow the yo-yo here. Definitely takes a toll on his execution because he missed out on quite a bit it seems. And we've got some more technical tricks. Really great sequencing here with slacks and rejections, as you can see here, it's just one right after another, and it's in a pretty unorthodox way as well. Um, I feel like with these tricks you can see, they're pretty predictable in how people sequence their elements, but Matt always changes things up. Um, that suicide transition was just straight up genius, I remember being so shook the first time I saw that. Really clever use of chopsticks here too from the slack. That's an older Matt trick, but still great. Matt has really solid front style as well, as you can see here. Um, this behind the wrist stuff is just so good. Missed a few of those lacerations, but all very unique. Um, I would have scored all of those had he hit them. I love this combo too. Great um, space use. It would have been sick if he landed that behind the back suicide. I think he hit it in his West Coast freestyle. Um, we've got some more behind the back here. That would have been so crazy had he hit that, but um, yeah, just regardless, all very difficult elements. As you can see here, he's already racking up a lot of positive points, but also quite a few negatives. Super difficult horizontal trick there. Also, with some musicality there with the bind. Now we've got another Matt tech combo. Um, I don't think this one is as good as his earlier tech combos he was doing. It's a lot of kind of just like hit, string hit style elements with hourglass stuff. Um, again, another missed trick at the end of that combo, but still all good. This is a great trick as well. Um, just so smart. Great zone and great space use. Really great stuff here too. Um, this next trick is really clever. I wish he hit it. But again, it's just kind of showing that he puts a unique twist on a lot of the trick archetypes people do. 3.0 hook as well. This is also one of my favorite tricks of the freestyle, just so many unique chopsticks catches. It, it's so great because a lot of people just kind of spam chopstick hits and those are fine, but when you kind of shake things up and like add extra flair to the elements, it just makes them look so much better to me. Um, overall, that was Matt's freestyle, great ending. I think I had him at like 118 minus 20 or 21. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, I think Matt is great at trick diversity. He did a lot of different tricks there, whether it's um, under the leg, behind the back, horizontal neck and um, all of those tricks are quite unique and also pretty difficult um, as you can see he got a lot of positive points but also quite a few negatives that's kind of what happens when you throw in a lot of difficult tricks into your freestyle um, other points great music use I think um, it kept the crowd entertained through, throughout the whole freestyle because it's not only a song that everyone pretty much knows but um, he had a lot of great cues to it as well so it's definitely very memorable um, overall, I think Matt is one of the most creative players in the competition scene today. Not only does he have a great set of unique tricks, but he also has a really good perspective as to what tricks score well. So um, he's definitely one of my favorites right now. I enjoy this freestyle. I hope you did too. And um, let us know in the comments who you'd like to see another analysis for. Thanks.